What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It is just too nice a day here in New Jersey to not be outside and make a little video. So today we're going to be talking about how to create an intro for your channel. Maybe you need an intro for your YouTube channel. Maybe it's for a client. Um, maybe it's just an intro to a specific video that you're working on. So a couple things to keep in mind when you're putting together an intro for your channel. The first thing is you got to have an idea, right? I'm going to show you how I created my intro for my channel that you saw in the beginning of this video and some of my other videos recently. And we're going to go through that step by step. I'll show you exactly what I chose and why. But you got to have an idea to start with. Have some kind of direction or somewhere that you want to go with your video. So you might be thinking, well, I don't really have an idea. Where can I get some inspiration? Well, one of the ways that uh, I kind of come up with an idea is I look around other people's YouTube channels. You see all kinds of different intros from cool cinematic B-roll stuff to more basic things to just somebody giving a little intro about themselves. So you've got lots of different uh, ideas floating around out there. Go around, watch a couple videos, pick out what you like, and then you can start to piece things together little by little. Another tip that I have for you is that you don't want your intro to be too long because people don't want to sit through an intro in every single video. And uh, I mean, even some of my older videos, the intro was a little too long and people were like, oh man, the video starts at two minutes, you know, oh, the minute starts at a minute 50 or whatever. So, you know, people get a little cranky if they got to sit around, wait too long for the video to get started. So keep that in mind, keep your intro short, sweet, and to the point. All right, so now we're gonna jump back into the studio. I'm gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve, show you my intro, what I came up with, why I chose the things that I did, and just let you see the process that I used to come up with the intro for my channel. And you know what, again, it might change soon. I don't know. I just kind of keep it until I feel like, you know what, it's time for something new. But this is what I got now and I'll show you all the pieces and how it all comes together. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's break down my intro here. So some of the pieces that I thought about uh, using as I started putting this together was one was my logo. So if I come here in my media pool and we'll just make this a little bigger, here's my logo for my company. Focus Photography and Design is the name of my company. And I knew I wanted to put the logo in there somewhere. So I got my logo together. Next, I thought, well, you know what? I do a lot of tutorials here, so I think it would be a good idea to show a video. Well, let's go ahead and mute this here so we don't hear all our talking. I thought it'd be a good idea to show um, some kind of video of a tutorial just sped up real fast. And I had done a tutorial about making a subscribe sign here and uh, an introduction to Fusion. So I thought that's a pretty good video that we can use to uh, just use as an underlay really for our introduction. And if I just scrub through it here, you'll see uh, me working in Fusion. And it's basically just a tutorial that I sped up to use for my intro. And I think it's also kind of cool that it says subscribe. So eh, maybe a little subliminal message there telling you to subscribe to the channel. Not too shabby, right? So I put both of those in my timeline. And then for a long time, I've been using a uh, fusion composition here of a bunch of like light leaks. And if I come over here, I'll bring this up on the screen. And if I play through it, you'll see it's just kind of like light shooting in from the sides of the screen with little orby guys floating around. And that's just a preset thing that I found in fusion. So one cool way that you can really uh, look for some cool effects is to just jump into the fusion tab and come to your effects library and just start going through the templates. I mean, there is all kinds of cool stuff in here that you can use it as it is, or you could even just do slight small modifications and you're gonna get something that looks really cool. So this particle lens leaks, it's just one of these preset things that I found right here in DaVinci Resolve. I didn't even have to make it myself. And like I said, if I click on that, you can adjust all kinds of different factors here. And I just picked something that I thought looked good and went with it. So jumping back into the edit page here, um, I'm gonna bring this back to where it was. The next item that I came up with here was uh, for the Quick Tip Tuesdays anyway, was just a piece of text. And again, this text I got in Fusion. It was a preset thing that was already there. So if I just drag the text over here, you can see what that looks like. And it's just the text flying in and flying out. The next thing you might notice here is all these purple lines. So if I come over here and zoom in, all that is to give the little um, blinking effect to my video, all it is is just a solid color clip. So if I come up to my effects library here and I open that up, so we got our effects library open here. I'm just gonna close the media pool and in my effects library, I'm gonna come to generators. And then right here I have solid color. So you can just click on that and drag it right out in here into your timeline. And then I've got a solid color. And what I did was I made a one second black clip. So it's gonna look like it's blinking. If you look up in our window over here, 
Looks like it's blinking. And all it is is just a black overlay, a solid color overlay on top of that fusion clip that I just showed you. So that flickering effect is pretty cool. And actually I picked that up from uh, Billy Ripka's video. Hope you're saying your last name right, Billy. But uh, he's got tons of great stuff. Another great DaVinci Resolve YouTuber. So head on over, check out his stuff. You get some ideas over there. But that's where I got the idea for the flickering uh, effect here using the solid color generator. So thanks, Billy. Appreciate that, man. So closing the effects library, zooming back out here. So I did also find some cool music that was uh, just a drum beat, you know, that I thought would work good for an intro. And if you look at it, it looks like this whole intro or that whole music clip there that I'm using is about 13 seconds long. So it kind of fades into my video as I start talking. So I like that the music kind of overlaps with where the video actually starts. As far as how long this actual intro is, if I come to where the physical intro stops, it is five seconds long. So I tried to just keep it real short, real quick and concise and nothing too crazy because like I said, people don't want to sit around and watch an intro most of the time. And then another thing that I did was allow these uh, light leak effects to kind of overlap with my video. So as I start talking in one of my videos, you're going to see these light leak effects kind of continue just for a few seconds on top of me talking or me getting into the video. So I think that is important that you kind of mesh things together a little bit. You want to overlap items a little so it just feels like it goes together instead of doing one thing, hard stopping, and then moving into the next. Not saying that that can't work. That can work too. But for me, in this uh, instance with the intro that I created, I think it's kind of cool how things overlap a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. So once I had those pieces together, I thought, hey, you know what? I think maybe we could use like a transition in the beginning where you kind of whip in and whip out. So the transitions I used are some of the transitions by R Visuals. They've got a ton of great transitions. I did make a video about them a while back. I'll link to that above if you're interested in checking those out. But I use their transitions all the time. And I like that it comes with not only the transition itself, but also a sound effect comes with it. So I decided to use the transitions to come into the intro, play through the intro, and then also transition out of the intro into me talking or whatever the video might be. So there you go, that's kind of my intro. It's just a bunch of small pieces put together. It did take me a little while just playing with stuff and seeing what I thought kind of looked cool, what I thought was quick enough, but still looked like something. So you just gotta try things. And you know, like I said, check out other YouTubers, see what they do. Um, and I think you can come up with something pretty cool. You just gotta play around with it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. If you need any help creating your intro, feel free to leave a comment. I'll help you out the best I can. And uh, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.